all of the solutions, I know even if I draw a graph, if I draw a little graph, um, this gives me all the solutions no matter how many times I go around and around and around my unit circle. This is how you write it. And then it says, um, I have to show it graphically and on a unit circle. So on my unit circle, it was here and it was down here somewhere. And that makes sense because uh, cosine is X and X's are negative over here. And then I can write it. Okay, there's my unit circle. And if I draw a graph, oh, my graphs are so, they're not very beautiful. I'm gonna show that it goes forever and ever. I always get sad when I have to draw these graphs. Um, that's supposed to show negative a half because this is negative one. Well, I should, it's not very nice, but here, here, here. Just like on that, on that graph, the Desmos graph, that would be um, a way to show cosine X is equal to negative half. Okay, and then for letter B, when is tangent X equal to one? So I don't know, let's look tangent. So tangent is sine over cosine. So basically to get a one with sine and cosine, like if I did sine over cosine here, I'd have one half over root three over two. Well, that's not one. But the only time that tangent is gonna be one is when sine and cosine are the same exact number. So, neg so root two over two, over root two over two, that's something over itself that equals one. So at pi over four, and I'm gonna say plus two pi n, and then is there another place where tangent equals one? That would be negative one. This one down here gives me one, so that's five pi over four. That's my dog He's napping in here. Um, yep, that's it. So it turns out that actually in this very special case, pi over four and five pi over four, since they're separated by exactly 180 degrees, I could just say pi over four plus 180, or what? what is 180 plus pi? I could I could say or pi over four plus pi times n. That only works when we're the pi n instead of two pi n only works when the two angles are exactly 180 degrees apart from each other. So if you wrote it this way, I wouldn't mark you wrong, but this is more efficient way to write it. And then how would I show um, Show it on a unit circle. You can show it like that. And then how would I show it on a graph? I actually put it, remember tangent looks like this. And it keeps going. Set a whole bunch of them. Looks like that. And so if this were one, it would be like right here, right here, right here. I'm gonna show you on, on this graph right here. So I'm gonna undo this one. And there's tangent. There we go. So that's just what I tried to draw on my paper. It goes on forever and ever and ever. Okay, if I'm just right here, pi over four, right? And then the next one would be five pi over four. And then, there, but there's other ones all over the place, right? So that 
we just did all this just so that you can get idea, an idea about how these um, trigonometric functions work. So I think that's it for today. And then we'll just work on it some more next week.